Uh, good morning and uh, welcome to the Rasa AGM for 2023. Uh, just a uh, just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, if, where possible, uh, if you can use your name and call sign to appear in your display. And um, if you've got some video, you might like to leave that on or I don't think it's really that important. But uh, yeah, just uh, uh, yeah, we've got you all automated on mute. Uh, there will be uh, possibly an opportunity later on to unmute you. So good morning and welcome to the RASA 2023 AGM. I'm Paul, VK2APA, and I'm president of, the, of uh, RASA, and uh, I'm chairing uh, the AGM with the support of the management team. Uh, who we've got here today, we've got the vice president, Robert, uh, or Bob Bisto, VK2POP, uh, admin secretary. Okay, <laughs> yes, say hello. Uh, the admin secretary, Terry and, uh, secretary and treasurer, uh, Ian uh, Jackson, VK2BUF. VK3. Oh, sorry, VK3. No, I don't <laughs> worry, I've, it's all right. I've been called VK3 myself at times. And the General Secretary, uh, Phil uh, PV, uh, vk 3 vb sends his apologies. He's currently on the road and is uh, um, unfortunately unable to attend today. Uh, the minutes will be taken by Ian and, uh, and uh, for, for today. Uh, this year's AGM was made available for viewing uh, afterwards upon the RASA YouTube page and uh, the, uh, uh, so uh, we, we gave an opportunity for those people uh, to uh, uh, be able to uh, respond to that and uh, that we all take that the minutes are accepted from the fact that we had nil response. Okay. Uh, there'll be a brief Q&A session after this annual general meeting uh, and uh, the team will be available to answer questions where we can. We always keep in mind that RASA is a very open organisation. Uh, we're approachable via email, info at uh, radioamateurs.org.au will get us and we're happy to answer questions at any point. <laughs> so like AGM meeting day, a fully our association rules and uh, so uh, yeah uh, oh this is the minutes a bit I forgot about that uh, I'm a bit dis disjointed today um, yeah the AGM minutes have been circulated they were circulated 21 minutes before uh, 21 days before the AGM and the meeting has been available for viewing for the past year the membership was polled uh, via email uh, for confirmation on these minutes reflected the proceedings of last year and there was no dissenting feedback given Okay. The AG, I'll give my report here very briefly. Uh, the AGM marks the beginning of the society's year and reflects often on the society's activities. This year has been somewhat notable with uh, the ACMA's move towards class licensing uh, and the issues and changes this is bringing um, from both sides on the ACMA to, do, to make change and do more with less. Uh, I must admit I can personally uh, understand that as I have served time in the public in the federal public service. However, these changes must uh, be fit for purpose and RASA has expressed your concerns and communicated to us by you, the members and the general amateur communication uh, amateur community. And that's all been reflected in our responses and the consultation. Razo also revisited the work performed uh, by our membership, uh, a strategic review of amateur radio in Australia. And that was done back in November uh, 2021, but it's still fresh today. And uh, we plan to continue using this guide and also additional input from yourselves uh, in our role now and in the future. Uh, RASA, of course, is an open organisation, as I've mentioned before. We like to listen to the amateur community and we welcome input, so don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, an exciting new initiative for the radio, new amateur is coming soon as well. Uh, with, uh, that'll be announced through the usual channels and um, that's something else that's been worked on in the background uh, over the last 12 months. Uh, more about that as, uh, as uh, the release date comes up and uh, we finalise that. Um, we've also uh, tried to get out there and uh, uh, since COVID sort of stopped us doing that, uh, getting out in the community and doing community meetings and so on. Uh, we did one physical meeting this year, but we've done a few uh, Zoom type meetings and I'm hoping that we'll do a few more physical face-to-face -face meetings in the, uh, in the coming 12 months. 
uh, where we've presented to uh, clubs a little bit about RASA, and we've also been promoting uh, Cure I'm Guru, which is a RASA supported initiative. So on behalf of the members and myself, I'd like to thank the RASA board and volunteers for their time and, and work on all of this. Uh, this all doesn't happen all by itself. It does take a little bit of time and effort. Uh, and uh, uh, there's also been some changes too to our board. And I'd like to thank uh, Philip EV, VK3, uh, VB as our outgoing director. His valued uh, contributions have been most helpful. And on behalf of the membership and management team, I'd like to thank Phil for his contributions to RASA and Amateur Radio in general. And I would like to wish him success in his future endeavours. And I'm sure he'll be a, uh, an active uh, member and contribute uh, in the future anyway. OK, this is the point where I actually asked Bob if you'd like some input as vice president. Uh, how would you like to have a few words, Bob? I'm just asking uh, Bob to unmute. Oh, can you hear me now? Can. Yeah, you're going through well. Okay, don't mind the lag. Um, yeah, good day, everybody. Um, yeah, not too much to add. Um, um, I, I got had the onerous task of being asked to um, glue the uh, QTC magazine together with all the stuff that everybody throws into it. So um, I'm pleased with that magazine and the content we get. It's fantastic, and um, uh, we all need to do our best to promote it, I think. Um, and um, our old mates um, across the road in Bayswater are uh, still playing some of their tricks, but, um, yeah, well, the least said the better. Um, so, that, yeah, that's enough. And, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm um, pleased to be part of Russia. Uh, thanks there, Bob. Uh, look, uh, yeah, QTC magazine has uh, has changed a little bit. Uh, the publishing format is a little bit different, uh, but we're always interested in feedback. And, uh, and uh, yeah, if you've got any uh, articles or information, don't hesitate to contact us uh, that, may, uh, that may be suitable to put in the magazine, that's for sure. Okay, I'll hand it over to Ian now as uh, as treasurer to give the financial report. Oh, thank you, Paul. Well, the financial report was circulated just on a week ago, and I'll hit some of the highlights from that message here. But if anyone has any questions, don't be afraid at any point in time to uh, drop us an email to vkradioamateurs.org. Uh, if I pause occasionally, there are a few more participants coming in and I'm keeping an eye on the corner of the screen and letting them in as they arrive. But yes, as Paul indicated, this will be all up for viewing on YouTube in a couple of hours time. Um, yeah, this year, as with previous years, our expenses are dominated by a lot of software subscriptions. Uh, we are an internet-based group and there's cloud services such as Member Planet for our membership database, uh, various websites which we operate and maintain, uh, including the QRM Guru one and the, uh, the VK Regs website. And we have some apparatus licenses that we do pay. There's a, uh, a DMR repeater and there's uh, our uh, site. Well, that doesn't actually have a, an operating license because it's a receive station, but we do have our, um, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, the monitoring station. It'll come to me in a moment. Reverse uh, so beacon. The reverse beacon, that's the one I was looking for. Thank you. Um, we have made some contributions, small contributions to other groups, uh, $50, $100 typically to help uh, an event out. And that's not a, a big outgoing, but we are trying to support uh, events that take place that are of uh, at least national, if not regional interest in the hobby. And we did attend and speak at a couple of events of importance last year. We were at Perth Tech. And we were at uh, REST in Tasmania and we gave a presentation on uh, interference mitigation at both of those sites. And uh, we were represented at Antenna Palooza in Victoria. 
Uh, we've had tables at a few ham fest sales and interstate meets. We did get up to Brisbane, which was excellent, and we caught up with the guys up at, at BDRS. So those travel expenses, for the most part, have been borne by the, the people who are attending. So they haven't, they don't appear on the outgoing list because uh, essentially our committee, our team members who are getting around are doing so at their own expense at this point. We did make some revenue from our merchandise sales, mostly the ferrite ring kits, the kill kits, which has been very, uh, very performing very well. There's something like 238 kits that have been sold since the program was launched in back in 2020. And the margins from that basically go into the pot which help us provide our services. And on the membership fees, we conducted something of a, an experiment, a test for the last 12 months. We'd had a lot of people subscribing as normal. And we would wanted to see how we would go with a donation model. And it was very good. That is, a lot of members did kindly donate uh, a little bit over the last 12 months. Uh, but uh, we've decided to revert back to the $10 a month, and we've had a lot of uptake from that in the last uh, 30 days too, which is was ex excellent. And there's a couple of reasons for that. The, uh, the, the subscription that people pay when they do send in their $10 is sort of an acknowledgement that, that, that of participation in some respects. So that helps and we've seen a lot of very generous contributions where uh, many amateurs have paid more than the what the minimum was required and that for us is is apart from being extremely useful and allows us to do things it's it's a vote of confidence uh, i feel that we're heading in the right direction yep. so as we shift from an apparatus license to a class license model which is the way that the acma is sending us um, the representations will probably become a few of the direct representations. That won't stop because there are certain issues that haven't gone away as yet, but we're going to be continuing to promote the, the hobby and we'll do it all over again this year. Um, I won't go into a blow by blow description of figures, but in essence, our uh, total income was uh, just over $5,000 in the last financial year. And our total expenses was a little bit higher. So we're actually down by $450 for that year. And there's a couple of reasons for that. We had a couple of big expenses in there. Some of our subscriptions, we opted for multiple year accounts rather than a single year. So they all show up in the one year. Uh, otherwise, we've, we've pretty much covered our expenses with our income. Uh, that's about all I have on, on this one, Paul. Uh, back over to you. Uh, thanks, Sarah. And just to clarify, I think Ian mentioned ten dollars per month. I think he meant ten dollars per annum. Oh, uh, but yes. if you but if you feel the desire to pay us ten dollars a month, don't uh, don't <laughs> let that slip past. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? And no, yeah. ten dollars a year is fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just uh, yeah, that's cool. uh, okay. Let's uh, let's continue on. Um, we had our uh, election, the 2023 Raza election, and that commenced on, uh, that was uh, August the 25th. And, and this process is overseen by uh, one of our volunteers, uh, the, uh, who, who is our returns officer um, in that role. Uh, and that's Michael uh, Van Der Acker, uh, VK3GHM, uh, who very kindly uh, steps in and, and makes sure that we, we, we do, all, do that all above board. And I'd like to thank Michael on behalf of Raza Management and, and the membership for performing this role. So over to, over to the Admin Secretary, time to change hats again, uh, to uh, read the report issued by the Returns Officer. Thank you. And yes, and thank you, uh, Michael, for doing this role. Michael has been quite busy. Michael gets involved with the uh, Darwin to Adelaide Solar Challenge and... I think he's going to be very busy again this year with that. Um, so I have a report from Michael, which I'll just go over. There's only a little bit of text here, but it's essentially the procedures of our election cycle. Election results for Radio Amateur Society of Australia 2023. 
a call for nominations was made to members via email on the 25th of August with a request for nominations uh, for the committee positions for 2023-2024 to be received by the returns officer. Only one final nomination for each of the following positions was received before the due time and date. That was from Paul, VK3APA, Vice President, Bob, VK6POP. I did what you did, Paul, and called you VK3APA. I'll say that again, VK2APA. Uh, Bob, VK6POP, Treasurer, Ian, VK3BUF, General Secretary, Andrew Beals, VK4, KCS, and at the moment acting as Admin Secretary, again, myself, VK3, BUF. Therefore, these above positions can be filled by the nominees without ballot. Declaration, I, Michael Vandernacker, as Returns Officer, do hereby declare that the above results are a true and accurate record of the results as submitted by nominees. Uh, signed by Michael. So that was a fairly straightforward process. We didn't have to distribute a ballot, but uh, I think it's still healthy if we can get other people involved and uh, I'm not afraid of uh, that process ongoing. We do have a, uh, a system whereby after four years in any one position or six years in total, the positions um, uh, that op operative stands down for at least uh, uh, two years. And that's a kind of a standing rule just to keep things fresh and uh, representative within the committee. So I think it's a good rule and it's ongoing. Over to you, Paul. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Yeah, thank you, Ian, for the, uh, for the report. Um, okay, let's, uh, I think we're getting to the point where we wind everything up here. So uh, I'll just have a few words and uh, we'll then probably get on to other things, maybe some questions. A bit of Q&A. So, yeah, last week we published uh, the latest QTC magazine and that featured a 13-page report on the ACMA's proposals and RAS's, uh, RAS's official submission is uh, presently uh, in uh, the, uh, I think uh, we've gone past the draft stage uh, and it will be published shortly to the members um, as uh, uh, probably as, a, as either a special news release or it could even be a, a special QTC. We'll see how that all pans out, how we plan to do that, but uh, expect to see that soon. Uh, it'll be following much uh, of the content, uh, but probably as uh, discussed in the 13-page report. So keep an eye out for that. What's in store for Razra next year? Uh, a few things have been touched on, which is good. Uh, we're, we're always thinking about what we're going to be doing in the future. Uh, for amateur radio. We'll continue to develop our current roles and initiatives. Um, we'll continue to communicate with the, with, uh, the uh, Australian amateur community and uh, we openly seek input and feedback from our, from our membership and the uh, amateur radio community in general. Keep in mind, this is your society and we welcome input. Uh, represent Australian amateurs and to the regulator, of course, is an ongoing thing. And although that may quieten down a little bit with class licensing, I suspect that uh, uh, the implementation of class licensing, uh, that we'll be monitoring that very carefully and, and closely uh, to, to ensure that it's in the best interests of Australian amateurs. We'll be, uh, part of what we're doing too is we still continue to lobby for certain uh, privileges. Uh, we're looking at the one kilowatt for advanced licensees. Uh, we've certainly put up an argument for that, uh, which I think is quite valid uh, and get us in line with the rest of the planet for that matter. Uh, there's quite a few countries that's, that do. There's quite a few countries that don't, but I do believe that we, we have a good case here. Australia is a little remote in that respect. Um, we also continue to develop and promote and support things like QRM Guru, Amateur Radio Tech Support, uh, known as Arts, and uh, things like BK Regs and, uh, and so on are, are uh, a feature as part of our education and awareness uh, that we're very strong in that. We're looking at uh, further development of resources to help the foundation license. Uh, and also newcomers uh, and also people that are coming back to the hobby. Uh, we get a, quite a few people that come back and say, hey, I um, was an amateur some years ago and I'd like to come back to the hobby. Uh, we'd like to support those people as well. 
we need to examine the potential for further things that we're doing. We've uh, we've had a whisper rollout. We've got the reverse beacon network. Uh, we have a, a DMR repeater in uh, in South Gibson area, uh, and uh, those rollouts have been quite successful. We'll probably look at those again and see if those are worth uh, pursuing further. Uh, and uh, there may be uh, some opportunity there for other people to get involved. Um, we also are going to continue with our desire to work with the WIA. Um, uh, I regularly send emails. Uh, one of the things we wanted to do is work with the WIA in regards to uh, some of the uh, 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 responses to uh, uh, the ACMA regarding uh, the recent uh, 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 things like uh, the, 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 with class licensing and, and uh, assessors and all that sort of thing. Um, and if we get any responses, we'll let you know. We'd like to also develop our strategies to grow and evolve and improve Australian amateur radio. When we do this by listening to all amateurs. And of course, this all how, how it happens with your input and uh, support of the members. And uh, so, yeah, we'd like to hear from you. So. On behalf of the uh, RASA management team and, and volunteers, I wish you success in your and, and amateur radio endeavours. So that pretty well includes, uh, concludes the, uh, the AGM part of uh, this meeting, for, uh, uh, and I thank you for your attendance.